It's about that time, isn't it? Um, this yeah! Guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be checking out Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Don't believe the lies to see. I can be more than a rumor. Dude, I am so excited. I am... I, these are my favorite movies to react to. Okay, that's that's a bit much. I love every single movie we've reacted to thus far, but these Harry Potter movies are just hitting a little different. And I appreciate your patience. I really do. I know it, I know there's some time in between each one of these videos, but I appreciate you being here. And and in all honesty, I don't want this to end. So who knows? Maybe before the very last movie, maybe last two movies, I'll just stop reacting to Harry Potter. And then I'll be the YouTube channel that never finished the Harry Potter series. Except if I did that, y'all would fucking riot, find me in the streets, and burn my house down. Anyway. Guys, if you want access to these full-length Harry Potter movie reactions before they release on YouTube, I'm gonna leave the link to our Patreon at the top of the description down below. And, uh, let's react to some Harry Potter, shall we? Even though I don't have a mustache. It honestly feels wrong watching Harry Potter without a mustache now. I swear, these Warner Brothers logos themselves get darker and darker each movie. I think one of y'all said that. Soon it's gonna be pitch black. Oh, this takes place right after the last movie, okay. I am so pumped! But this music is super intense already and like very dramatic and sad. Makes me a bit nervous. Harry Potter. Wait, that looked like Voldemort, right? At first I thought it was a skull. Damn, super cool shot, holy shit. Is that all CGI or you think they got that with a drone? Cause that was nuts. Ew, some nasty vermin. Holy shit. Harry Potter. Who's Harry Potter? Bitch, I'm Harry Potter! No one. Bit of a toss already. <laughs> Wait, she knows, right? Uh, hey, I was wondering. Eleven. That's when I get off. Damn, that was presumptive. You can tell me all about that toss of Harry Potter. Okay. What if he just wanted a little extra Tabasco or something? I guess he's not eating. What would he put hot sauce on the paper? She's forward as hell. <laughs> See. What the hell? Albus, why are you standing out there like super weird? Tonight make a Albus, what are you looking at? Oh well, unpleasant to behold, isn't it? The tale is thrilling, but now is not the time to tell us. Wait, what happened? Ah, <laughs> oh, he just totally ghosted that chick. <sighs> I just apparated, didn't I? Indeed. Most people vomit the first time. I have quite the irrational fear of throwing up, so that would be miserable for me. I'd be crying on the leaves in the fetal position. But now you must be wondering why I brought you here. Actually, sir, after all these years, I just sort of go with it. <laughs> One's on, Harry. Wait, wouldn't Harry want to... What, where are we? Are we in a different universe or in the past or just in the present somewhere else? I don't... Shut up and watch the movie, damn it. I got y'all. <laughs> fucking hurt. Why the hell did I look up? Oh my god. Do not- DO NOT EAT IT! Why the hell would you lick someone's blood? Okay, what if- What if dude had AIDS? What then, Dumbledore? Merlin's beard! I need to disfix- What the fuck? I must say, you make a very convincing armchair, Horace. Horace? What gave me away? Dragon's blood. Oh. Dragon's blood? Harry, I'd like you to meet Horace Slughorn. Horace Slughorn. What a name, that's badass. The Death Eaters have been trying to recruit me for over a year. Do you know what that's like? Yeah, Harry's got an idea. I think we should put it back in order for them, don't you? Oh, dude. That's fantastic. You never have to clean again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dumbledore, you could make a killing as a contractor, dude. All the materials just... Fucking concoct a house. <laughs> Sell it, dude. Make a great contractor. Don't think I don't know why you're here, Albus. The answer's still absolutely and unequivocally no. What? What is he, the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher? <laughs> 
This dude looks a little unstable. Your mother was one of my absolute favorites. Everybody loves Harry's mom. Was she hot? All mine, ex-students, I mean. Regulus Black. I taught the whole Black family, uh, except Sirius is a shame. But I'd have liked the set. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Do you mind if I take this? What is it? I do love knitting patterns. Dumbledore, why are you staring at all these women lustfully? Bye-bye, Horace. So we were trying to recruit him to Hogwarts. All right, I'll do it. But I want <laughs> Professor Merrythought's old office, and I expect a raise. That took zero convincing. You are talented, famous, and powerful. Professor Slughorn is going to try to collect you, Harry. Collect him? Oh. So that dude can brag to other people about teaching Harry. When he was like, yes, I wish I had the set. Okay. <laughs> In the water? Where the hell's Dumbledore and how did my dude land in a marsh? Hedwig. Who are you? How the hell does she know Hedwig? Ginny? <gasps> what is it? Oh, that's Ginny! I was only wondering when Harry got here. Damn, she developed. I think I'd know if Harry Potter was in my house, wouldn't I? Did someone say Harry? Is that an owl I heard? Damn! Hey. Can y'all explain to me the living situation? Why is it that Hermione is always at Ron's house and then Harry comes in after? Is that just the common meeting place or what? Why didn't you let us know you were coming? Oh! Mrs. Weasley! Got a bit of toothpaste. <laughs> what? Wait, what the hell was that a sexual reference? Toothpaste? What were y'all doing upstairs? Said Ginny and I had no business going back to Hogwarts. It's too dangerous. If this is Hogwarts we're talking about. It's Dumbledore. What could be safer? There's been a lot of talk recently that Dumbledore's got a bit old. Rubbish. Well, he's only... What is he? What, 400 years old? 150? 150? <laughs> <laughs> and why is it that... Malfoy is burning? Is that foreshadowing? Why is it that Hermione and Ron know all the information before Harry? Every movie, they know all the information. Run along, one tail. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Get the fuck out of here, you little scoundrel. Wormtail bugs the shit out of me, man. I'm aware of your situation, Narcissa. The Dark Lord told you. Over the years, I've played my part so well, I've deceived one of the greatest wizards of all time. He's just a boy. I can't change the Dark Lord's mind. Wait, Snape. But it might be possible for me to help Draco. Help Draco? Swear to it. Snape, what are you doing? Make the unbreakable vow. <sighs> Will you, Severus Snape, watch over Draco Malfoy as he attempts to fulfill the Dark Lord's wishes? Oh, what? I will. Wait, that bond with Lucius goes down to Draco too? If Draco should fail, Will you yourself carry out the deed? I will. Okay. What the hell? Step up, step up! We got fighting fences! Dude, this is crazy. What is it, candy shop? Peruvian instant darkness powder. A real mini spin of that one. Wait, it's more than, it's like a candy and, and trinket shop. Love potions, eh? They really do work. Wait, Hermione, who you got your eye on? How much for this? Five galleons. I'm your brother. Ten, Ten galleons. <laughs> Ruthless businessmen. Is this their business? Or they just work here or what? I run. Hi. Damn, there's lust all in this movie. Everyone's gonna be fucking. Is it me or do Draco and Mummy look like two people who don't want to be followed? Draco's always up to some weird shit, dude. Borgen and Burke? He's gonna fall, isn't he? Wait, what? She was just like leaning in to whisper something in his ear. It looked like she started to kiss his cheek. He's lovely. Hey, Luna! Oh, what the? <coughs> Goddamn Sour Patch. I was about to say, what is that little floof? Aww, little floof. So what was Draco doing with that weird looking cabinet? Don't you see? It was a ceremony. He's one of them. One of what? Harry is under the impression Draco Malfoy is now a Death Eater. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. Well, then what's he doing in Borgen and Burke's? Browsing for furniture? It's a creepy shot. He's a creepy bloke. <laughs> yeah, in his spare time, he likes to go look at shiferobes for sale. I told you. 
I don't know what I saw. When are y'all gonna learn just to listen to Harry? And he's always right. Hogwarts, what a pathetic excuse for a school. I think I'd pitch myself off the astronomy tower if I thought I'd continue for another two years. That is dark. We'll see just who's laughing in the end. Malfoy, you got a lot of deep-rooted anger, dude. I feel like you need a you need a therapy session. Okay, but honestly, let's not forget that some crazy shit just happened to his dad, right? So let's have empathy for him right off jump. But he's also Malfoy, so fuck him. But at the same time, we'll feel bad for him. Nobody should lose their dad. His dad was a piece of shit, but... Hagrid! I always get so happy when I see him. Mummy ever tell you it was rude to eavesdrop Potter? Which of the palace? What? Oh, Harry's using the cloak? Oh, fuck! How did you know that? Oh! That's for my father. <laughs> okay, that was actually a really badass move. Boy stomped him out! Hey! <laughs> Enjoy the ride back to London! It was honestly a badass move. Luna! What kind of damn kaleidoscope vision is that? Anike! Everybody's got to work around to the damn invisibility cloak. How do you know where I was? Raxperts. Your head's full of them. Raxperts? Harry, I'm looking at you from this angle, dude. It looked like you filled out a bit, dude. You've been hitting the gym? This is Kane here, then. It's not a cane, you cretin, it's a walking stick. <laughs> It's all right. What the hell did that mean? Nice face, Potter. Nice cane, asshole. Would you like me to fix it for you? She's so cool. Okay, yeah, give it a go. It's pisky. Ah! Oh! Jesus. Dude, how do I look? Exceptionally ordinary. Wizards could instantly replace the top tier professions, too. Uh, she could be a plastic surgeon. Like that. She could have just charged 45 grand for that. First off, let me introduce. Horace Stubble has agreed to resume his old post as potions master. Oh. Meanwhile, the post of defense against the dark arts will be taken by Professor Snape. Snape? This is what he's wanted all along. Although they seem super sketched out by that. Once there was a young man sat in this very hall, walked this castle's corridors, a student like any other. Tom, Tom Riddle. Riddle. He's known all over the world by another name. I'm reminded of a sobering fact. Dark forces attempt to penetrate this castle's walls. But in the end, their greatest weapon is you. Draco, pay attention, dude. You're always staring off into space. Now, off to bed. Pip, pip. Pip, pip. That was cheerful. <laughs> mm. Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. <laughs> Mr. Davis, that is the girl's lavatory. Why the hell are you going into the girl's bathroom, dude? Oh, this can't be good. No, it can't. I had a free period this morning, Professor. I would think you would want to fill it with potions. Well, I'll head this straight away. Oh, good, good. Take Weasley with you. He looks far too happy over there. <laughs> okay. Hey, kids, we want to make y'all pretty fucking miserable, so uh, get your buddy and uh, step on a class. Ah. Oh. Harry, my boy, is beginning to worry. We brought someone with us, I see. Ron Weasley, sir. I'm dead awful at potions. <laughs> Hermione's like this bitch. You better slide off. Carrot Top is mine. Any ideas what these might be? Hermione. Yes, Miss <laughs> Granger, sir. The most powerful love potion in the world. It's rumored to smell differently to each person according to what attracts them. Oh. For example, I smell freshly mown grass and spearmint. Toothpaste. What? Well, now everybody knows what she likes and wants. The most dangerous potion in this room. Oh, God. This really is just a lustful movie, dude. Look at that. They all just went. Oh. What are we watching? You haven't told us what's in that one. Liquid luck. Yes, Miss Granger. Desperately tricky to make. Disastrous should you get it wrong. One sip you will find that all of your endeavors succeed. Whoa, that is the greatest potion of all time. At least until the effects wear off. Oh, why aren't you just brewing up all of that? Just crank that out. Desperately tricky to make, disastrous should you get it wrong. A tiny vial of liquid luck to the student who manages to brew an acceptable draft of living death. Only once did a student manage to brew a potion of sufficient quality to claim this prize. Good luck to you all. Okay. Ah, we're brewing potion. This book is the property of the Half-Blood Prince. Okay. Run, who cuts like, 
Who cuts like that? What are you dumbasses doing? Oh, it, okay, it's pretty difficult. Never mind. Crush with blade, release. Oh. Half Blood Prince wrote all the notes and shit. How did you do that? Crush it, don't cut it. The instructions specifically say to cut. <laughs> Dude. Oh, God. It's like the first time I've seen Hermione not be good at something. She's perfect. So perfect, I dare say one drop would kill us all. Oh, God. Well, that's not good. One vial of Felix Felicis. Use it well. Uh, I mean, of course, no student is gonna get the, the recipe right if the recipe's wrong. <laughs> So who the hell was the Half-Blood Prince? Ah, uh, Harry, you got my message? Enjoying your classes? I know Professor Slughorn is most impressed with you. I think he overestimates my abilities, sir. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I got a secret fucking book. What about your activities outside the classroom? But I notice you spend a great deal of time with Miss Granger. I can't help wondering if... Oh, no, no. I mean, she's brilliant, and we're friends. I was merely being curious. Dumbledore, mind your fucking business. You can't ask about kids' romantic life. That's weird. You must be wondering why I summoned you here tonight. What you are looking at are memories pertaining to one individual, Voldemort. Those are each memories? The day I first met him. I'd like you to see it, if you would. Oh, that is a cool-ass concept. Dude, imagine that. Wait, is it? It's one and done. You only have one of those? Damn, you can't revisit that multiple times? Some confusion upon receiving your letter, Mr. Dumbledore. Orphanage. Tom, you have a visitor. You're the doctor, aren't you? No. You're a weird kid. That is it's really sad why he's that way, but he's strange. I think I'm different. You can do things, can't you, Tom? Things other children can't. Dumbledore's old at every stage. I can make bad things happen to people who are mean to me. Well, I'm like you, Tom. I'm different. Prove it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think there's something in your wardrobe trying to get out, Tom. Thievery is not tolerated at Hogwarts, Tom. Oh, Tom's a little thief. He's a little sticky finger boy. I can speak to snakes too. They find me. Whisper things. Okay, that's terrifying. I have dreams and I don't know what these mean. Giant snakes. Enormous. They make anacondas look like little fucking nightcrawler worms. I don't know what those mean. Did you know, sir? Did I know I just met the most dangerous dark wizard of all time? <laughs> no. Over time, while here at Hogwarts, Tom Riddle Wait. grew close to one particular teacher. Snape. Can you guess who that teacher might be? Snape. You didn't bring Professor Slughorn back simply to teach potions, did you, sir? Oh. You said Professor Slughorn will try to collect me. Yeah, that was a weird phrase. Do you want me to let him? Yes. Wait. I'm confused because every Harry Potter movie, it seems like the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor is a bad guy. Now we have Slug, Slug Bottom coming in here. I don't know if he's the bad guy or if now Snape is the Dark Arts teacher, if Snape's the bad guy. I'm thinking right now that fucking Tom Riddle's the Half-Blood Prince. That's my guess. Watch Malfoy be the Half-Blood Prince. First movie that I've seen where I actually do feel a little bad for Draco. I don't know why. And he's also not with anybody. He's just by himself all the time, not even with his jackass friends. Quiet, please. <laughs> Ron. Remember, just because you made the team last year does not guarantee you a spot this year. Is that clear? Yeah, because we got ass raped last year in the playoffs. And some of y'all fucking suck. <laughs> Harry's taking Quidditch a little too seriously again. Yeah, I'll be going after Keeper as well. It's something personal. Keepers need to be quick, agile. I like my chances. <laughs> my boy just popped a Mr. Miyagi right in front of him and squished the fly. Think you could introduce me to your friend Granger? Wouldn't mind getting on a first name basis, know what I mean? Everybody likes Hermione, right? And all she wants is Ron. <laughs> oh yeah! Yeah, you see that? I can block both pretty good. <laughs> I love Ron. He's so funny. I love his headgear. Wait, is Hermione gonna do like a little spell to make him badass? No, probably not, okay. Oh, she is! Oh, wait, no, opposite. 
She made that scrub miss it. Let's go. Yeah, what do you think about that, Azchak? You just got scored on. This chick needs to calm down. I thought I was gonna miss that last one. I hope Cormac's not taking it too hard. Got a bit of a thing for you, Hermione. Cormac. <laughs> that low-key jealous comment. Yeah, he's got a bit of a thing for you, Hermione, yeah? Yep. And if you had a shred of self-respect, you'd hand that book in. Not bloody likely. He's top of the class. He's even better than you, Hermione. <laughs> She's pissed. Not the right words to say to Hermione. I'd like to know whose that book was. No. Why not? The binding is fragile. The binding is fragile. <sighs> <laughs> oh god. This book is property of the Half-Blood Prince. Unless... Now this is a stupid fucking thought, I can already sense it, but I want to say it. Harry's the Half-Blood Prince, and his future self... Now, oh, okay, we're making that more complicated. Something to drink? Um, three butterbeers and some ginger and lime, please. Butterbeer. I want to try some butterbeer. Is it good? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Slick gear. <laughs> we're only holding hands. Ron's about to- Oh god! Ron's about to beat that ass! And snogging. I'd like to leave. What if she looked over here and saw you snogging me? Would you expect her to get up and leave? <laughs> snogging just kissing? What does it mean? Canoodling under the table? What's happening? In the old days, I used to throw <laughs> together the occasional supper party. A select student or two. Would you be game? Uh, I'd consider it an honor, sir. You'd be welcome too, Granger. <laughs> Sorry, Red. You gotta stay home. <laughs> Good to see you, Wallenby. What? I'm not- I'm just gonna blow past the fact that this is an old teacher that doesn't even brush his hair. Head looks like a bird's nest that's inviting students for a one to two kid rendezvous. Cut. A little bit. What is this movie trying to do? Ron's saying she's got toothpaste on her mouth, now he's saying she's got white foam on her lips. What kind of shit are you pulling, Warner Brothers? <laughs> What the hell did she touch? Oh my god. <laughs> Looked like fucking Stranger Things, dude. Holy shit. You sure Katie did not have this in her possession when she entered the three broomsticks? She said it was important that she deliver it. Did she say to whom? To Professor Dumbledore. What the hell? Why is it when something happens, it is always <laughs> you three? That's a good question, McGonagall. I've been asking myself the same question for six years. She was cursed, wasn't she? If she was delivering that to Professor Dumbledore, she wasn't doing it knowingly. Yes, she was cursed. Wait, so so- It was Malfoy. Malfoy's trying to kill Dumbledore? Your evidence? I just know. <sighs> Terrible evidence, Harry. How grand it must be to be the chosen. Snape, your issue is with Harry's dad, right? It feels unfair that you're hating on his son so much. Sins of the father, I guess. What do you suppose Dean sees in her, Ginny? And what does she see in him? He's brilliant. He called him a slick git not five hours ago. He was running his hands all over my sister, wasn't he? You've got to hate him, you know? You gotta at least run it by your buddy if you're gonna make out and grab his sister. She's smart, funny, attractive. Attractive? You know, she's got nice skin. Skin? She's got nice skin. <laughs> that is the weirdest fucking sociopathic thing I've ever heard. All that's missing is his eyes need to be open a little wider. She's got nice skin. Fuck. I think I'll be going to sleep now. Right. <gasps> the Ma Malfoy, where are you going? So tell me, Cormac, do you see anything of your uncle Tiberius these days? What the hell are y'all eating? Uh, is he working on anything new? I don't know. Him and dad don't get on. Probably because my dad's just potions are rubbish. <laughs> it's the only potion worth having. It's a stiff one at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Miss Weasley, come in, come in. <laughs> just in time for dessert. If Belby's left you any. <laughs> <laughs> that is, if Belby's left you any. <laughs> D dude, do not lick your fingers looking at her. That is a weird move that's never worked in the history of time. For my ladies watching, does this do it for you? No. Anyone who aspires to be anyone hopes to end up here. Did Voldemort ever make the shelf, sir? You knew him, didn't you, sir? Tom Riddle? You were his teacher. He did not like that question. Mr. Riddle had a number of teachers whilst here at Hogwarts. Yeah, but you had a weird special connection with him. What was he like? Not unlike others I've known. Not unlike yourself, in fact. If the monster existed, it was buried deep within. 
It's how you know a really powerful person when they have the capability and capacity to be extremely dangerous, but they just hold it and control it inside of them. You know what I'm saying? Good luck, Aaron. Hey, wait, was that Neville? Who's that? What's he wearing? Bitch, I'm the keeper. I'm a badass. So how was it then? Your dinner party? Pretty boring, actually. Slughorn's having Christmas do, you know. And we're meant to bring someone. I expect you'll be bringing McLaggen. Actually, I was going to ask you. Yeah, Ron, have some confidence. Good luck today, Ron. Bitch, you better slide off. Hermione and you about to have a cage match. Smackdown style. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Luna! You look dreadful, Ron. What is it? Dude, she's great. Is that why you put something in his cup? What the hell did you put in his cup? Liquid luck. Oh. Don't drink it, Ron. Wait, Ron's getting the liquid luck? Oh, shit. Come on, Harry. We've got a game to win. Dude, you can see the instant change. Now boy's confident as a motherfucker. Let's go. I hope Ron's talking shit. Oh, God. This girl's gonna be crushing hard. <laughs> <laughs> Weasley! 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 Hermione likes it too. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. It literally gives me goosebumps. We shouldn't have done it. I know. Shouldn't put it in. Oh. Harry just placeboed the fuck out of Ron. Oh my god. Oh my god. You seem like a nice girl and you're very forward, but that is Hermione's man. Jesus, she is not letting go. That girl's tongue is in the back of Ron's throat. Hermione, that breaks my heart when she cries. She's so sweet. Hermione, you're a real one. F that other bitch. She's just latching on to Ron. Well, I guess she liked him before he was really successful. <laughs> successful. Confident. How does it feel, Harry, when you see Dean with Ginny? I know. Wait, Harry likes Ginny? I see the way you look at her. Oh. Wait, Harry, that's Ron's sister, dude. He's get... Okay. <laughs> Ron, you look like a man that bowls for sport in the 70s. What are y'all doing sneaking down here? Were you gonna get toothpaste on her face? Y'all can't get mad at me for this either. The movie's teeing it all up. I'm just reacting to it. That makes me sad. If I wrote Harry Potter, I think that I would have made Harry and Hermione a couple, and then Ron would have been the delinquent friend who's smashing everybody, but is like still really funny and charming. It feels like this. Oh God. Malfoy, why are you just observing from the top? What about Lav and I have? There's no stopping it. Ron, Hermione is way better than Lav. Point is, I'm a free agent. Ron. Was I under the impression he and I would be attending Slughorn's Christmas party together? Yes. Given the circumstances, I've had to make other arrangements. <laughs> Where's Victor? You bringing Vic back? We should go together as friends. Why didn't I think of that? Who are you going with? Oh yeah, Harry's way better than Victor. It's a surprise. Wait, is it Victor? See that girl over there? That's Ramilda Vane. Apparently she's trying to smuggle you a love potion. Oh. Really? Damn, Harry. Hey, she's interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. Hey, who gives a damn? She's interested. I am the chosen one. Okay, sorry. Kidding. <laughs> Ask someone I like. Someone cool. Yeah, Luna! Luna's a way better choice. The conversation would be extremely stimulating. Although with the other chick, something else would be stimulating. Malfoy. Okay, we need to start worrying about Malfoy because he's spending way too much time alone. What the hell was that? It looks like a giant birdhouse. Why do I think a snake is gonna come? Why do I link snakes with apples? Nectaria passes. Harmonia and Nectaria passes. Drink. Neville! Neville, I didn't get into the slug club. It's okay though. Aw, oh, Neville, I like you, dude. Oh, I like it when he's got more primary roles in the movie. Hermione, what are you doing? I left Cormac under the mistletoe. Oh, Cormac's dumbass. That's who you invited. I thought it would annoy Ron the most. Yeah, she's trying to piss Ron off. Dragon Tart, they give one horribly bad breath. I might keep Cormac at bay. <laughs> oh, God. 
He must be terrible. She's self-sabotaging. Just say you shit yourself and leave. Likes to work her mouth too, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> Ew. Did he just vomit on Snape's shoes? From Professor Dumbledore, he asked me to give you his best and he hopes you enjoy your holiday, you see. And he won't return until term. I don't trust you. Traveling where? Okay, what a weird message that was. That wasn't a real thing. I just discovered this boy lurking in an upstairs corridor. I'll escort him out. Certainly. Why is Snape assigned to watching over Malfoy? Maybe I did hex that bell girl. Maybe I didn't. Oh. I was chosen for this. Out of all others, me. God, he really is working for Voldemort? Please let me assist you. No, I was chosen. This is my moment. Chosen by Voldemort? Or what? Because Hermione was like, yeah, that chick wants Harry's stick because she thinks he's the chosen one. How about you? Oh my God, you are clingy as hell. No, no. That's a bit much, okay? Okay, <laughs> stop doing that. <laughs> Lovely. Ron, what's wrong with Hermione? Why has that not happened yet? Voldemort has chosen Draco Malfoy for a mission. I know it sounds bad. Dumbledore trusts Snape, therefore I do. If we start fighting amongst ourselves, we're doomed. Open up, you. Don't you trust me? My boy took the smallest bite. I would have said, <laughs> Ron, you're cock blocking. Pie? Not for me, no. Mini pies? Dude, I would slap down on that. Are you all right, Mr. Weasley? As for Draco Malfoy, I know a bit more. Go on. I sent an agent to Borgen and Burks. The object that Draco is so interested in is a vanishing cabinet. Oh. It can transport you practically anywhere. What happened to it? The one at Borgen and Burks? Nothing. It's, it's still, still there. Oh, okay. <sighs> Ginny! Has Ron gone to bed? Um, not yet. No. Why are you asking that while you have a robe on? Oh my god. Harry, no! Damn, they're whipping through the fire. <laughs> Bellatrix is a little cackling bitch, dude. Can't tell what the hell's happening. I don't know what the hell's going on. Harry. <sighs> oh God, you? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. Damn. Okay, but my question is like, y'all's tent looks like a royal palace, so just whip a tent up and you're good to go, right? Conjure up a badass house. That's my one-one. Your one-one? Excuse me, I have to go and vomit. Yeah, me too. This chick's too much. She's that girlfriend that's like, Ooh, my little snickle pit. My little monkey. I mean, I do cringy shit behind closed doors as well, right? But that's the line. Right? You're free to do cringy, weird relationship shit behind closed doors. What's something on your mind, Tom? I was in the library the other night, in the restricted section. I read something rather odd about a bit of rare magic. It's cool, as I understand it. I don't know anything about such things, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Now get out of here at once, and don't let me ever get you mentioning it again! Tom pissed him off. Confused? Yeah. This is perhaps the most important memory I've collected. It is also a lie. This memory has been tampered with our old friend, Professor Slughorn. Oh. Why would he tamper with his own memory? Because he teamed up with his dumb ass. I want you to persuade him to divulge his true memory. Dang. This memory is everything. Without it, we leave the fate of our world to chance. You have no choice. You must not fail. Yeah, no pressure though. Jesus. Right up you go. Please, don't forget your rat tail. What the fuck was that? Oh, sir, I wondered if I might ask you something. Ask away. 
Well, you see, the other day I was in the library, in the restricted section, but it just got me wondering, are there some kinds of magic you're not allowed to teach us? That's a great question. Harry, I think your question better be posed to Professor Snape. He's not like you. You might misunderstand. <sighs> yes. So it is with magic. Myself, I always strive to live within the light. Is that what you told Tom Riddle, sir, when he came asking questions? Damn, we're not, we're not even trying to be sneaky about this. Harry's just straight up saying, fuck it. Tell me the truth, bastard. Dumbledore put you up to this, didn't he? Yeah, Harry, that wasn't smooth. Didn't he? Okay. All right, well, that was two steps back. What am I watching? It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh my God, I thought he was getting... Oh my god. Had ourselves a little late night snack, did we? It was on your bed, the box. I Wait. I try one. What did you eat? I think I love her. Oh god. Ron. You nuts. Who are you talking about? From your Devane. Okay, very funny. Dad, what's that for? I'm in love with her. Oh, all right, fine, you're in love with her. Have you ever actually met her? Oh. Can you introduce me? Ron. Okay, now this is the exact Ron that I guess I had envisioned in my head. Oh, oh, I get it. She used the, the pheromone thing to try to lure Harry in. And now Ron's like, oh, Papa wants. Okay, I get it. Dear Harry. Yeah, okay. But I wouldn't bother you if it went absolutely essential. What's the matter with Wimby? Wimby. Very powerful love potion. Very well, better bring him in. Hello, darling. Ron. <laughs> Ron, I can feel something on my leg. Get away. I'm sorry, by the way, Professor, about earlier today. About Voldemort. Don't use that name. Ron, what are you... Oh! Okay. Hey, yeah, my boy. Bottoms up. What happened to me? Love potion. All right, now he's clacked back together. I don't know what the hell clacked back together means. The actor that plays Ron does a great job of acting. It's really good. Yeah, Potter. To life. Ron, you didn't even... <gasps> what the fuck? I was about to say, Ron didn't even wait for him. I, I don't understand. Wait, why does the professor not understand and Harry is forced to rectify the situation? Did Ron just fucking die? <coughs> okay. These girls are gonna kill me. <laughs> Quit thinking on your part, Harry, using a bazaar. You must be very proud of your student, Horace. Well, Horace didn't know what the hell was happening. You didn't know which way was up. You don't remember who gave you this bottle? Actually, I had intended to give it as a gift myself. To whom, I might ask? To you, Headmaster. Wait. Where is he? So my wand want oh my god. Bitch, we are dealing with important stuff here. Go away. I suppose you want to break up with him now that he's suddenly all interesting. He's been poisoned, you daft dimbo. <laughs> I've always found him interesting. He senses my presence. Don't worry, one one. I'm here. Leave. Oh, Marley. Marley. Yeah, what now? <laughs> Okay, good. Yep, see yourself out. Oh, to be young and to feel love's keen sting. <laughs> this movie's almost like a damn romantic comedy intertwined with dark spirits. Shut up. Okay, back to Malfoy's sketchy ass. Oh, he's testing it, right? <gasps> Dude, I love birds. Wait, he was crying? Aww. I actually feel for Draco in this movie. In a weird way. Tell me how I broke up with Lavender again. I don't believe it was a particularly long conversation. Bloody thrilled to be shot of her. <laughs> oh, God. She just did the underbite. Good thing y'all don't have cars. She would have keyed it and slashed your tires. Katie Bell. Katie Bell. Katie. I know you're going to ask Harry, but I don't know who cursed me. Uh-oh. We're gonna duel out? Wait. Oh, Jesus. We gonna duel? Malfoy, you look troubled, dude. Hard to tell if you look pale, because you're already pale as hell. I guess you do kind of look translucent. I know what you did, Malfoy. You hexed her, didn't you? <laughs> Oh, that was the spell from the book. What does that do? <laughs> Harry, Jesus, what did you do? 
What happened? You have to get rid of it today. No, I like having the book. Just be a bit more responsible with it. What happened to Malfoy? It's the wrong requirement. We need to hide the Half-Blood Prince's book. What are you gonna do, Ginny? Close your eyes. That way you can't be tempted. <laughs> well, then you know where it is. Doesn't seem right. Oh. Oh. I can stay hidden up here too if you like. <laughs> Okay, now question, and y'all tell me down below in the comments, that happens to you, are you telling Ron? You like, yo, your sister kissed me, I had my eyes closed, I swear to God. Or are you just like, did you and Ginny do it then? Do what, Ron? Hunt the book. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> Why the hell are you wearing a graduation hat? <laughs> Still no luck with Slugger on then, I take it. You gotta tell Ron, just tell him right now. That's it, all I need's a bit of luck. Oh. Dude, what a cool potion right there. I legitimately would spend night and day trying to just to formulate and perfect that formula and just keep them cranked out. How do you feel? Excellent. He turns into Bully Maguire. <laughs> Come on, babe, we're rolling. I'm going down to Hagrid's. No, Harry, you've got to go and speak to Slughorn. I've got a really good feeling about Hagrid's. I feel it's, it's the place to be. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> No. no. <laughs> Harry, it looks like you did MDMA, buddy. Hi. Hi, good to see you. Thanks for being my friend. Love, peace, and vibrations. What are you doing in here, Slugbottom? <gasps> Merlin's beard, Harry. <laughs> Merlin's beard. I like that. How did you get out of the castle, Harry? Oh, through the front door, sir. Harry! Surely you realize I can't allow you to go roaming the grounds by yourself? Well, then by all means, come along, sir. Dude, they do a great job of adding a nuanced character to themselves. Daniel Radcliffe did a great job with this. That is the coolest potion. I want some of that. Oh, God! I never want to see that. Did you manage to kill it? Eldest friend he was. Seriously misunderstood creature spiders are. They're terrifying. Okay. The eyes, I reckon, they unnerve some folk. I mentioned the pincers. It's not the eyes or those. It's the bulbous ass and the protruding legs. Would you like me to say a few words? Yes. Oh. Had a family, Harry. I trust? Oh, yeah. Wait, is this the giant spider? Aragog. Oh, okay. He was a terrifying creature. That is sad. Snapped into. <laughs> Harry's going along like it's got some type of rhythm and melody to it. I had him from an egg, you know. Tiny little thing he was when he hatched. I once had a fish. Mm. Francis is very dear to me. Francis. It vanished. Off. It's very odd, isn't it? Very. I know why you're here. But I can't help you. It would ruin me. What? I'm going to tell you something. I am the chosen one. Only I can destroy him, but in order to do so, I need to know what Tom Riddle asked you all oh. those years ago in your office. Be brave, Professor. Be brave like my mother. Damn. Okay. Otherwise, you disgrace her. Damn, Harry! Otherwise, she died for nothing. Damn, Harry! You are persuasive as hell! Come on, Professor. Don't think badly of me when you see it. Oh my god, dude's pulling the memory out? Whoa. Whoa. Now, is that a copy of the memory? Or does that take it out of the Professor's head and now he doesn't have it anymore? I feel like the thing about the books that, I mean, the thing about the movies that I don't get are like the backstories, more details to answer the questions. The books probably do a tremendous job of that. It's called, as I understand it, a Horcrux. Horcrux? This is very dark stuff. Horcrux is an object in which a person has concealed part of their soul. An object where the person concealed part of their soul. And splits one's soul and hides part of it in an object. Oh. That part of your soul that is hidden lives on. Wait. In other words, you cannot die. Oh, but it's just a tiny piece of you, right? It's not like your whole body, your whole spirit, or whole self lives on. How does one split his soul, sir? Murder. Killing rips the soul apart. Can you only split the soul once? For instance, it's in seven. Seven? To rip the soul into seven pieces? This is all hypothetical, isn't it, Tom? All academic. Yeah, all academic. It's all you want to hear. Of course, sir. Wow. It'll be a little secret. Voldemort or Tom at an early age, there's something about him. He's got that it factor. It's like, God, dude, you're special, but you're sadistic and scary as well. So Voldemort cannot die. That's what I've learned. This is beyond anything I imagined. 
What are they exactly? Could be anything. A ring, for example. Or a book. Oh. Tom Riddle's diary. It's a Horcrux, yes. But until tonight, I had no idea just how powerful. If you could find them all, if you did destroy each Horcrux. One destroys Voldemort. Oh! They could be hidden anywhere, couldn't they? True. Dark magic. <laughs> oh, fuck. Leaves traces. Is the Half-Blood Prince's book a Horcrux? And I think perhaps I may have found another. Oh. I cannot hope to destroy it alone. Dumbledore is trying to destroy all the Horcruxes, okay? Once again, I must ask too much of you, Harry. Well, yeah, no shit, you know he's riding. Why did I just say that? I've never said that before. Harry's riding! The place to which we journey tonight is extremely dangerous. You must obey every command I give you without question. Should I tell you to abandon me and save yourself, you must do so. Oh my God, is Dumbledore gonna die? Your word, Harry. My word. <sighs> That's a weird situation because Harry normally does shit that he's not supposed to to save the damn day. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Your hands are dirty as fuck, dude. In order to gain passage, payment must be made to weaken any intruder. You should have let me, sir. Oh, no, Harry. Your blood's much more precious than mine. This? Oh, God, that does not seem sanitary. Someone get Dumbledore some Neosporin. There it is. The only question is how do we get there? If you would, Harry. Fuck? Oh. Oh, that is the creepiest ass little boat. Who do you think the whole crux is in there, sir? It has to be drunk. What? This potion might paralyze me. Oh. It caused me so much pain that I beg for relief. You are not to indulge these requests. Oh my God. It's your job, Harry, to make sure I keep drinking this potion even if you have to force it down my throat. Understood? Oh my God, I'm nervous, dude. <gasps> Professor. <laughs> Harry! Oh, he's got to keep drinking it. I thought he was about to drink it. You have to keep drinking like you said, remember? Damn, that's a lot of potion. Don't make me. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, that's so hard. One more, sir. Promise I'll do what you say. <laughs> Open your mouth, Promise. Albus! Does he get in progressively more pain as he drinks more? Harry. Order. Order. Water, not necklace with a doubloon on it. Harry. Harry, get the fucking water. You're taking your sweet ass. Fuck! <laughs> oh, God. Harry. Harry, get the fucking water, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Christ! Dude is so powerful! Oh. Wait, Malfoy's alive? I thought he had died or something. Now you're dressed in an all-black suit? If I watched this as a kid, she would have freaked me the fuck out. I would have been trying to sleep at night, close my eyes and seeing that weird smile. I'd be like, Mom! Severus, tell him what happened. Speak to no one else. Whatever happens, it's imperative you'll stay below. Trust me. Trust me. Good evening, Draco. What the hell are you doing? You are no assassin. How do you know what I am? I've done things that would shock you. Draco, you're a scared little boy. Just trust me. I was chosen. Please let me help you. I don't want your help. Don't you understand? I have to do this. I have to kill you. He's gonna kill me. I don't think you're able to. Again, my heart goes out to Drago in this movie for some reason, even though he's doing scoundrel things. It's like he doesn't have a choice. That dude is creepy as fuck. Well done, Drago. Don't kiss him, woman. He's a child. Do it. Go on, Drago. No! Wait, how did Snape even know to go there? Snape is so clutch. Comes in at all the right moments. Severus, please. Have I cut off a What the fuck? 
Wait, what? Dumbledore had to have known that Snape was gonna do that, right? Because it, it was against what Voldemort wanted. Voldemort wanted Ferret to do it. Okay, that's going out of your way to be a nuisance, woman. Betrayed his ass? I thought that was part of the damn plan. You coward, fight back! No. Wait, he I belong to the Dark Lord. Half the people in this movie, I think, are dead or not dead. Half of them are probably. I don't know what's happening. Is this a co going according to plan, or is Snape being an asshole? Second central. Use my own spells against me, Potter. Yeah. What? I'm the Half-Blood Prince. Oh my god. Again, that gave me crazy goosebumps, dude. You're the Half-Blood Prince? Yeah. Bitch, shut up. I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Is Dumbledore dead? What does Snape being the Half-Blood Prince mean? Does that mean that his parents were part Muggle? Like, what is Half-Blood, Half-Blood, right? What's going on with me? I, uh, There's no way Dumbledore died. Is there? Oh my god. And now, another question, what does that mean for Voldemort's plan if he wanted fucking Draco to kill Dumbledore? I'm waiting for his eyes to open. No. Seriously? Is that Dumbledore's wand? I, I can't. I'm not gonna convince myself he's dead. Is he dead? Professor Dumbledore, you meant a great deal to him. He, he really died. Do you think he would have done it, Draco? No. I don't think he would have the ability to do it. No, he was lowering his wand. In the end, it was Snape. I did nothing. Well, Dumbledore asked you to get Snape, though. It's fake. Open it. To the Dark Lord, I have stolen the real Horcrux and intend to destroy it as soon as I can. But when you meet your match, you will be mortal once more. R.A.B. What does that mean? I don't know. <sighs> Is it met his match that's Harry? Then Voldemort will be mortal and not some crazy ghost noseless figure? But whoever they are, they have the real Horcrux. I'm pissed off. I am. John's okay with it, you know. Well, great. I'm still pissed. You and Ginny. I'd keep this noggin to a minimum. <laughs> oh, no, he knows. <laughs> I've got to finish whatever Dumbledore started. I'll let you and Ron know where I am when I can. No, you cannot leave your friends like that. No, it's not gonna work though. Sometimes you can be really thick. Yeah, you're dense as hell, Harry. Your friends are going with you. I don't really think you're going to be able to find all those Horcruxes by yourself, do you? Dare we say that Harry's a bit of a narcissist? You need us, Harry. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Ron's low-key salty because Harry's kissing his sister. I never realized how beautiful this place was. Damn, big ass bird. <sighs> Is that supposed to be like symbolic of Dumbledore transcending into the next phase? <sighs> damn it. I mean, that was a good movie, but damn it, I'm upset about that. I didn't want Dumbledore to die. <sighs> I'm gonna title this video, Now I Hate Harry Potter. <laughs> Oh God, it's a fantastic movie, but it hurts. Whew. There were so many cool things about this movie. First and foremost, Professor Slughorn. Out of all these characters that are introduced to the movies, right? He's probably one of my favorite because honestly, he made me laugh a lot. He's just like one of the most interesting characters. You can see the light and dark side of him, but in every Harry Potter movie, we get that where, the, where thematically the movie is very light at some times and then very dark at others, right? Then the whole thing with Malfoy becoming a damn death eater and it's like, we, we know Death Eaters are doing crazy shit. It's not only at Hogwarts, they're going all around the world causing mayhem doing a bunch of tomfoolery. Tom Riddlery. 
Um, <laughs> that was actually a pretty good joke. Uh, okay, if you have to say it, it's probably not. But then, like, talking about Malfoy, it makes me want to segue to Snape, which is like, Snape is such a complex character. I honestly think he is the most complex character in all of Harry Potter, because in this movie alone, right, see what he did. He was trying to help Harry, it seemed like, in instances, but he was trying to help and protect Malfoy. So those are already contradicting. He's trying to keep his allegiance and, and good graces with Voldemort, but at the same time, he's helping Dumbledore. It's like, dude speaking out of both sides of his mouth, and I cannot imagine what's going on in his head. I mean, it's just sheer chaos. Again, Snape, I love him and I hate him, but, but mostly love. I love and dislike him. That's a better way to say it. Dumbledore dying? Like, what the fuck, dude? We have two more movies, and now we don't have any Dumbledore. Think about this, though. Harry has always had Dumbledore to rely on, always had Dumbledore to protect him, and now we're at a point where Dumbledore has essentially... I guess thinks that Harry is at a level where he can carry out what Dumbledore wanted to do. And and now Harry's by himself. I mean, he's got Hermione and Ron, sure, but he doesn't have that safety net that Dumbledore always provided. Now we're at a point where we know how to kill Voldemort. So that's cool. Like that information develops, right? Like I didn't even know what entity Voldemort was. Still don't really, but we know how to kill him. And that's a huge step forward. So these next two movies are gonna be really interesting. But the thing about this movie that was crazy is the amount of love making, amount of lust in the air. Everybody's eyeballing everybody. Toothpaste comments, foam on the mouth comments, girls trying to touch Harry's Nimbus, all sorts of crazy shits going on. But at the end of the day, what does that do, right? We touched on the light, we touched on the dark side of all these movies in this series. That's what it does. It reminds us that, hey, we're dealing with teenagers, we're dealing with kids in their fucking and, and that was actually pretty funny like ron's lustful thing like that was pretty cool so it provides some comic relief at the same time it like shows that light-hearted side of things that these are still kids and then fucking drags us back into the damn <laughs> world <coughs> I was weird. All in all, the mo I, I start to sweat when I watch these movies, but I, I'm having the best time and I am just so upset that they're almost over. But I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching all these movies with me, man. This journey has been tremendous. Guys, if you are watching at this point in the video and you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button for some more Harry Potter and I will see you in the next one. Love y'all. Peace.